In America, the sport football is not the same sport that is known as football worldwide. These players do a test called the 40 yard dash to determine whether or not they are eligible for the NFL. In this test, athletes run 40 yards as fast as they can, but they have to hit it under a specific time. The minimum time you need to run this is 5 seconds. Yes, you need to run 40 yards in 5 seconds or less in order to even be considered athletic enough for the NFL. Oh. So today what I'm going to be doing is the 40 yard dash myself and for every second that I am closer to the world record which is 4.22 seconds, I'll get more points to upgrade Mbappe. Now I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get that close but if this guy could do it, then that gives me a little bit of hope. So if I manage to get anything under 5 seconds, that'll be an automatic 1000 points. For anything that's over 5 seconds, the points start to decrease by 100. So that means that if I get 6 seconds, that's going to be 900 points points seven seconds is gonna be 800 points and so on till I reach 100 points minimum and you must be wondering well why am I doing this and it's because everybody calls Mbappe a turtle so much that he actually became one this man is now the slowest player to ever touch the field so let's go ahead and try to save the bro Mbappe I'm coming for you all right so that was my first run <laughs> I'm already freaking tired as hell, but um, just try to look for the big guy running to the back. I mean, it is a public park. There's a lot going on. I know it's kind of hard just with the way the angle is like I can't really angle it to where I'm right here on the camera. I mean, it's a one man job right now, but one run done. <laughs> All right, so this man is literally a two overall right now. I don't even know how he made it this far, but we definitely got to go ahead and max out his speed and acceleration. Like, he is nothing literally without this. And with those upgrades, it brought him to a 46 overall. So I'm really hoping that we can get something done in the first game of the quarterfinals. I mean, everything is on the line right now. So here we go. The highly anticipated quarterfinals is here. The players on the field are ready to go, and the fans are looking for redemption. They've been here before in the previous season except it was left in embarrassment. The whistle blows and Mbappe is already stinking up the field. Oh man, you can't be just losing a ball like that. Okay, alright. Got a lot of speed right now. Pass it off, pass it off, yes. Come on, Neymar. Ooh. Wait, what are you doing? Verratti, why didn't you get that rebound? Alright, here we go. Get Someone set up Mbappe. Oh. No, you can't do that, bro. Even with his speed back, Mbappe was still struggling on the field to concede a goal. Come on, beat him, beat him. But in a few seconds, he would prove me wrong, except there was a problem. Oh, no offside, please, no offside. No. Oh, man. With the goal being overturned because of the offside call, Borussia took advantage of it and conceded their first goal to get the go-ahead. Oh, no. What? A low finish? Nah, the goalkeeper's sleeping, bro. What are you doing? He's sleeping. He's sleeping in the goal. This is what y'all paying him for? And as the timer got closer to the final whistle, things got worse for the PSG team. What are you doing? On the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Oh, okay. Thank God. PSG still had hope that they concede at least one goal to tie the game. Yes. Yes. They did everything they can on each counterattack, but it wasn't enough to get to the back of the net. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dortmund took advantage once again and tried to concede one last goal to secure their advantage but thankfully the team captain Marquinhos was there to save the day. Well boys let's go ahead back to the field and see if we can run a faster time. Alright, second run in and I feel like I just played a 90 minute game. I am so out of shape. By the way guys, I don't know what my times are right now. That's what the timer on the screen is for. We're going based off of the judgment of the recording. So when I go ahead and edit this video, that's how we will determine what the points are. And with 900 points, I'm really hoping that we can get something going here. I mean, Mbappe really needs it. So I think what he definitely needs most is his mentality back. He has no idea what he's doing on the pitch with all those offsides. So we're going to go ahead and 
max all of this out. And it seems like ball control wasn't enough either, so we're gonna go ahead and boost his skill up even more. And with all those upgrades, it brings Mbappe to a 66 overall. Nothing too crazy yet, but I'm hoping that it's enough to get us past the quarterfinals. I really don't want to go home right now. It is way too early for that. Match day two arrived and it was time to go big or go home. This was easier said than done because the match was taking place at the Borussia home and they were in the lead with the 1-0 aggregate. Mbappe and his team had to come together to end this once and for all. And as the first whistle blew, they did exactly that. Ooh, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Yes, let's go! Mbappe's first goal! <laughs> That's right, Mbappe's first goal, but we can't get too excited yet because we've only just drawed the game. Will the PSG team be able to score another goal before the second half ends? He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he is. What the hell? How did you get that off? He went through the defender's leg and used his left foot. Borussia got really frustrated after this and started to fall apart. Uh, yeah, yellow. Yeah, thank you. All PSG had to do now was hold the lead with some defense, but Mbappe wasn't going to just sit around and watch for the ball to come in. A hat trick? A hat trick? A hat trick indeed is what happened, and not only did this boost Mbappe's confidence, but it pushed them into the semi finals. Now, with Borussia Dortmund finally eliminated, let's go ahead and see who we are facing in the semi final. Third time's a charm. All right. That's it for the flat shoes. All right, with another 900 points, we definitely need Mbappe in shape for this next matchup because it's not gonna be easy at all. So we definitely need his attacking mentality to be maxed out. And because I almost have him at a 99 overall now, I have two options. I can go ahead and max him out to a 99 overall right now, but that would mean I would have to face the next opponents on Legendary, the hardest difficulty in the game. Or for the second option, I can go ahead and do 50 points on one more attribute and just keep going on the regular difficulty I am playing, which is professional. So I don't want to be a 99 overall yet. I'm going to go ahead and just do shot power to 50. <laughs> And with that, that brings Mbappe to an overall of 87. But the catch is that I can't upgrade him for the next two games. So that means that we have to make it out into the finals without upgrading Mbappe from here on out. PSG is now set to face its worst nightmare, Bayern Munich. After facing them previously in the 2020 finals and getting handed the fattest L of the season, PSG was here to face them once again, except whoever wins this is going to the finals. With that in mind, Mbappe who had just recently restored his confidence was not going to let that affect him on the field and he did what he always does beat his defenders Ooh. <laughs> what a freaking shot and it wouldn't stop there as Mbappe kept attempting to get the ball behind the net make the run make the run yes beat the defender you see it Oh, he missed it. Things were starting to look worse for the PSG team as nothing was converting. And then going into the second half, Bayern took advantage and scored the first goal of the game. Yo, this guy, I swear he'd be sleeping in a goal. That was literally right on your fingertips. How did you let that go through? A goalkeeper who can't save the simplest shots. That was going to be all over the headlines if Mbappe didn't go ahead and do something right now. His team needed him and he knew that. So that's why he went ahead and did this. Oh, no. With this, we later found out that the goalkeeper on the Bayern team was actually a 90 overall the whole time the controversy didn't stop there though because it seemed the rest had some money on this game Asensio, Asensio. ref ref yo ref you are rigging the game man but even that wasn't enough to stop Mbappe Mbappe come on Mbappe yes 
Mbappe put the team on his back and brought them into contention once more. And with this, everything is on the line for the next match against Bayern Munich. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to bring some points and help out the PSG team. So I have my cleats on, but I made the biggest mistake anybody could, and that is not bringing water. I don't know what crossed my mind, but the fact that the weather today is cold here in the Big Apple is not helping. But let's go ahead and see what we can run with these lighter shoes on now. So I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty funny because even though I played with these shoes before, the difference of using the other shoes till now is like huge. Like I literally felt like I don't have shoes on at all and I was not ready for that launch off, but I think we got a little bit of a faster time on that one. All right, so I did say I can't upgrade Mbappe anymore, but that does not mean that I can't do it for the other players on the team. We need all the assistance that we can get from our teammates in order to guarantee that spot in the finals. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade Neymar to a 99 overall. And if you guys wanna see how that looks in the previous video, click right here. But let's go ahead and see what happens. And with a 99 Neymar Jr. accompanying the 87 overall, Mbappe there's no way that this couldn't get done right the PSG team to face the competitors who they fell to in their own homes where all the fans were there getting ready to see potentially another finals yet again all the pressure was on Mbappe and his team and whether or not they can get it done all right, man, if this isn't enough to get us into the freaking finals, I don't know what to say. PSG just has bad luck. Bad luck is exactly what they had because no one saw what was coming next. Rip that thing. Oh! Oh! Neymar 99 is crazy. Oh, don't tell me he's injured, man. That better be one of his dive tactics. The injury is sufficiently serious for No. Is he actually injured? No, no, don't do this to me, Neymar. The injury prone Neymar was inescapable even at a 99 overall. And speaking of 99 overalls, the goalkeeper the decided to showcase what his true available. skills were. Point thirty three seconds. The first half ended scoreless and going into the second half, Mbappe was doing everything he can to get that ball behind the keeper. Oh! Oh, man. Come on, Mbappe! Mbappe! Oh. <laughs> Things were not looking good for PSG as it was the 88th minute now. It was time for them to score or go into overtime. But what's about to happen right now is why the sport of football is so beautiful. Mbappe, opportunity it is. Let's go! Let's finish! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we're going to the finals! We're going to the freaking finals! Once again, the hero of France, Kylian Mbappe, comes and puts his team on a pedestal. With this goal, PSG is now advancing to the finals, and we have yet to see who the final opponents will be. And with that last run, I'm really hoping that it's enough to get Mbappe to a 99 overall because without it, I don't think that he's going to stand a chance against the next opponents we are facing in the finals. But before I even reveal who that is going to be, let's go ahead and upgrade Mbappe. So we'll max this out. This, this this and all that's really left is uh, him being a goalkeeper so <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's highly unlikely but if we need to throw mbappe into the goal for whatever reason we gotta have those stats maxed out and with that we finally have a 99 overall mbappe as well as a 99 overall neymar jr from the previous game both are healthy and ready to go for the finals but little do they know who the opponents they will be facing are 
and what the circumstances are. The toughest opponents PSG will ever face was a 99 overall Manchester City. They have been on fire throughout this whole Champions League run and Haaland wanted his title for being the fastest one on the pitch. This turned out to be more than just a Champions League final. It was a battle between the speedsters, a battle to see who could bring the cup back first for their hometown. The excitement was everywhere. There was tension in the air. It was time for the first half to finally kick off. It is something very special indeed to make it to a Wait, I wasn't ready. Hold on. How did I just start? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They are off to a strong start. A strong start is indeed what they had as they kept trying to attack the back of our net. But Mbappe and his teammates knew that that's all it was. They just needed to come together and convert that one opportunity they get. Come on, Mbappe. You're quicker. You're quicker. Oy. Okay. Okay. Oh. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass from Mbappe. Oh, gritty on them. Gritty on them. Let's freaking go. Mbappe was proven to be a future captain of the team. He was no longer playing as the arrogant, selfish player he once was. He also made sure that if everyone's going to eat, He's going to eat as well. Yes, yes, Mbappe. Oh, nah, this is too easy. This is way too easy. Come on. 2-0 already? For a 99 overall team, it did feel a bit too easy to get 2-0 in the first half. But the team still proved to be difficult because PSG couldn't find the back of the net despite all the attempts they had. Even Erling Haaland at one point was getting frustrated and shot the ball to the moon. It doesn't matter, bro. PSG is the champions of the Champions League. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? We won the finals. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm not going to lie. That did feel a bit too easy for a team that's supposed to be a 99 overall. So I guess we're going to have to boot the difficulty up in the next one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. Take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.